in this video, whilst it's storming outside, I thought I'd show you exactly how to get set up with HubSpot. I've never used this before, so I thought I might as well show you and we can learn together. Right, so let's get started. <clears throat> so this is your CRM. It's where you can store and manage your contact list in one place. No more messy spreadsheets. Let's start an import. Don't worry, it's just a demo. Okay, great. So let's let's basically click import. Okay, so basically they're saying that you've got an, you've got a list of contacts in a CSV file. This is something that you can export from your Google Sheets. And if you're wondering how to do that, you just go up to the top and you say file, download, and you download it as a CSV if you're on Google Sheets. So importing your contacts, bringing your customer list into HubSpot is easy. You just add them to a file, then drop it in. Let's try it with a sample file now. Okay, cool. So we're here. Let's just drag and drop. There you go. Success. Your file's been uploaded and your customer's details are now safe in cool. Contacts. Here are all of your contacts. I love this. This is so cool the way they do this. I guess so they're all organized online and ready to access whenever you need them. Let's take a closer look. So let's take a closer look here. This link only works outside of the demo. Okay, so they're basically saying, okay, so this is still the demo. You've got all your, your clients, demo name, email, part, or phone number, and what they're interested in. Let's, let's go to the contact properties. Okay, so HubSpot stores information about your contacts. These are called properties. So basically, this is the category, I guess, that they're, they're interested in. These are called properties, as well as basic details like names and email addresses. You can also store any unique information that you need. Okay, so you could also essentially use this for a sales funnel. Like, you could put them into the AIDA, which is A-I-D-A, -A, Awareness, Interest, Demand, and Action. Awareness is when somebody just finds out about your brand or product. Interest is when, well, they show interest. Demand is basically when they're asking for the price. And action is whether they purchase or not, they, they don't purchase. So let's have a look at that. So that's your products purchased. Cool. Let's have a view. So let's add a view. You want a list of customers who have bought a particular product from you in the past, as they'll be a good target for your new campaign. So you create a view to filter them by. Okay. So you click add a view. And to save time, we've created the view for you. It's footwear customers. So you've got customers, footwear customers there. Now you have a list of everyone likely to be interested in your new campaign because this is everybody that's bought shoes in the past. Let's end the demo right there. And wow, I'm pretty impressed. Like this is this is pretty intuitive and I can understand why HubSpot's done so well. All right, so this is your guide for getting started. If you're not sure what to do first, we'll help you get your account set up and ready to use, learn what a CRM is and how it can help your business, understand what your free tools can do. Let's go. Okay, where should I start? Creating a contact is quick and easy. It's a quick and easy way to get up and running with HubSpot. From there, we'll guide you out of spreadsheets and into a CRM your business can build on. Okay, so let's create a contact. Create your first contact, see all your details or see all their details and interactions. Okay, so where are we? We're in user guide, marketing, then sales, service, and then operations. Wow, that's this is basically your digital platform to take care of all of your customer pipelines. Everything from from the start of your funnel all the way through to the end. This is brilliant. Okay, let's create a contact. Okay, so you can quickly add a contact from the right here. So where are we now? We're in contacts. Let's create a contact over here. Wow, it's really storming outside. It's beautiful. This is amazing. Wow. Okay, sorry, getting back to it. Let's put an email. So let's put Roland at growspace.co.za. Uh, my first name is Roland, last name is Clavin. Let's just quickly fix this text up. Grow space, bear the world every day forever. Cool. How did it know that? Oh, okay, so I pulled it from my grow space email. Contact owner, cool. 
So gross space is the owner of this particular contact that we are creating, just so that we understand the hierarchy of, of contacts. So the job title, um, let me do this. I'm going to actually put your T and let's put Tiami so There we go. And his surname is Rapudi. Right, so his job title is Chief of Operations. His phone number is, well, I don't know that off my heart. Let me quickly just grab that. Okay, so it's, it's 074955 and 2557. Life cycle stage, where is he? Okay, so basically that's your sales funnel. Is he in the awareness? So is he a subscriber? Is he a, is he a lead? Is he marketing qualified lead, sales qualified? Is he an opportunity, a customer or evangelist? Well, technically he is an evangelist. So let's just put him there. An evangelist is somebody that, that is like an affiliate marketer. Somebody that's gonna speak about your brand in a good way and get the word out there. Okay, let's put the lead status. Is he new? Is he open? Is he in progress? Open deal, unqualified. Attempts to contact, connected, bad timing. Okay, so let's say, let's start at the beginning of the funnel. So he's new. Okay, let's create his contact. All right, so he has all of his details. This is your contact record. It's got everything you know about them so far. Okay, great. So that's finish the tour. Right, so we're 25% done. So I think we've done marketing. Import your contacts. You can organize, track, and manage your valuable leads in your HubSpot contacts database. Okay, so we can import contacts. We will need to do this through... Yeah, we'll need to get our database up and running on here. Okay, let's go back to the user guide. Add your contacts in three easy steps. Cool. So we, we can import them there. We can import them there. Okay. So what I'm thinking is we can do this at a later stage. Let's look at the sales hub. Okay. So sales hub is going to just do some more training for you. Let's see service. Okay. So this is what I was looking for. So you could have conversations inbox, tickets can be raised, and reports can be made. That's pretty cool. Wow, every user is 100% free forever. This is amazing. Okay, so see how to easily manage data across apps. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Let's go here. Uh, we will import at a later stage. Let's import, let's let's actually add somebody. So we're gonna say T at growspace.cl.za. Say a quick make super admin. Super admin users will have access to all the same tools and settings that you do. If you prefer to add your colleagues with basic permissions, leave the box unchecked. You can also change permissions in your settings whenever you like. So such so access extensions and invite them. So T is one of the directors. And I think that we should just say send a quick invite there as a super admin. Cool. Get started with a four-minute lesson on attracting the right audience. Oh, it's recommended. Let's go have a look. Open academy lesson. Wow, so these guys have got a full-on academy, which means that you can learn. Oh wow, this is capturing your leads. Okay, so I'm going to go and watch all of these videos. And then we can get back to it. That's it for now.